Where? No, that's not. Hey, this is Glozell. What do you do when your sister is dating an asshole? Do you support her or confront her? When do you draw the line on his behavior and how do you keep your relationship with your sister healthy while she stays in her relationship with the asshole? Okay, if my sister was dating a jerk, I would support her. I wouldn't tell her because uh, that might be something she needs to learn from the relationship and I'll just be there when it fall apart because it's going to. When would you ever be in an open relationship? What do you feel is appropriate in terms of seeing other people while in a committed relationship? Well, it's, oh, I'm sorry. It's not cheating if it's agreed upon. It is not cheating if it's agreed upon and you're doing and you're both doing it. Right. I feel that you have to be pretty much uh, agreed to with both people if you want to do an open relationship. Uh, that's not something for me. I can see the perks in having an open relationship, but it doesn't seem like that always works. And if you're really committed, I'm really in hopeful for a monogamous relationship. Would you ever date a guy who used to date other guys? In an age where people are more open about their exploration of sexuality, more men are coming out about past secretly dating other men, including Gavin Rosdale. Would you ever date someone who's been with another man or has seen another man seriously? Okay, been there, done that. I have went out on a date one time and a guy told me, you know what, I did experiment with a guy before, but that's not what I wanted. And at that time I was like, okay, no, no thank you, because you might be confused. But then I ended up dating another guy uh, for a long time, and it was a long time before he told me that he had also experimented with dating with men. So I have done that. Now, if someone openly tells you that, um, that's up to you if that's how you get down. Maybe that's, you might be in the same uh, sex thing also, you know, but uh, for me, it doesn't work for me. But anybody who's an adult, considering an adult, they can do whatever they want to. During the second season of Jersey Shore, we saw that Sammy got played by Ronnie several times. Jenny and Snooky had a difficult time deciding whether or not to tell her. If you know your friend is getting cheated on by another friend, do you intervene and tell her what's going on, or do you just let things lie and play themselves out? No, if you know that your friend is being cheated on, um, once again, I would just wait and just be there supporting her because what happens is you like, oh, you know what? Your man is cheating on you, and guess what? Your friend don't like you, and she still ends up dating that guy. So, or another guy that still cheats on her. So, you know, just be a friend, be supportive, but no, don't jump in. There's been a lot of celebrities recently who have gotten married at a young age. Carrie Underwood, Hilary Duff, Alexa Vega, etc. What are your thoughts on getting married so young, uh, i.e. 21 to 23? Do you think someone that age could know it's forever? Is this going to end in divorce? Uh, I think that if anyone gets married young, there's a high probability that they will end in divorce. Yes. So I don't think you know who you are at 21 because you're a completely different person at 25. And at 25, you're a completely different person at 30. So no, I, I'm not a big advocate of getting married early, uh, very young, even though, you know, the stories are nice when people have been married for 50 and 60 years. But I, I say, wait, hold off. You need to at least be uh, 27, I think, at least past 25. Brandy has been in the news recently about being abstinent for the last six years and is remaining so until she's, she's found her new life partner. What are your thoughts on this? Is, this? is it practical? Is she foolish to keep herself from having a good time and enjoying sex? I don't think she's, I don't think Brandy is foolish from being abstinent. You know, she's been abstinent for six years and she says she's going to wait for that perfect person. Now, what happens when that relationship happens and it doesn't work out? She's going to be abstinent another six years. But I think since Brandy's gone through a lot, she's got a, she's on a television show. Her brother had his little scandal and she was in a car accident resulting in someone passing away. She did Dancing with the Stars. She has a daughter. She had a little breakdown at one time. So I think it's good that she took this time just for herself. A lot of people won't do that, so I, have, I commend her on doing that, but um, so good for her. Great. Stars in Hollywood have always had major body image issues, but recently a number of women have surfaced admitting to their eating disorders, including Portia de Rossi and Demi Lovato. What are your thoughts on eating disorders? Is there, mu is there too much pressure due to media for young girls to look a certain way? Okay, in the media, women do seem to be very, very small. Is there pressure? 
from Hollywood to be thin? Well, yes. And if you're going to be in the industry, the, the acting industry, uh, most likely you're going to feel that pressure more and more. So, I have an eating disorder. I eat this. I eat that. Okay, I was anorexic for two, three hours and I gave it up. So, those people are very disciplined. But seriously, you shouldn't let it get to the point where you're getting dangerously thin or really hurting yourself. But discipline and good eating habits and staying fit is, is fine. Tell us a story where you've encountered bullying, whether you were on the receiving end or not. Please give examples of how this affected your personality and how you think telling the story could help others. What are your thoughts on the way people are bullied in real life and via, and via the media? For example, Perez Hilton is against bullying, but he's the biggest media bully out there. Do you agree with this? Well, I believe that a lot of people get bullied, yes. Um, as far as Perez Hilton, if people weren't watching and enjoying what he was doing, then he wouldn't be as famous as he is. And he is very famous, and he is crossed from not just blogging, but into mainstream television and films and music videos. So somebody likes him. As a comic, I'm coming from a comic background, people talk about people all the time. Now, when you get to the point where people are bullying to the point that they're killing themselves or hurting themselves, then that's wrong. So there's a lot of bullying going on and we're you're keeping a cap on it, but you can't blame a uh, media, anybody in the media, I don't think. MTV recently launched a new series scans that highlights out of control teens abusing everything from drugs to sex and alcohol. What is your take on programming like this? Is it too risque and provocative for teens to watch or is it fairly or is it a fairly accurate portrayal of their lives? Should something like Gossip Girl be, sh be showing so much casual sex? Well I think that Gossip Girl and MTV skins are just showing they're reflecting what teenagers are doing. Some of them, not all of them. And I think you could be used as a great learning experience. Uh, parents are like, you see what's going on here? Is this something that you want to be involved in? Because usually there is something tragic that happens. They don't ever have a meaningful relationship on and on and on and on. They get broken up with. So I think that um, it could be used as a, as a tool and it's showing you, you know, what people are doing and what some people are thinking. Jersey Shore shows a lot of people who are involved in excessive drinking. Recently, and an episode aired where Snooki, with Snooki being arrested for being a public nuisance due to her alcoholic intake. What are your thoughts on highlighting partying and alcohol consumption, especially at that of that level? Is it okay within reason? Should a network stray from showing that? Is it a poor influence on teens who watch? I think it's a very poor influence on people, teens that watch, or anybody that watch. But it is entertaining. So do you, if you know that Snooki's going to get in trouble, that's one thing. Again, use it as a teaching tool because Snooki also has a book that was a number one seller. So just know that it's entertainment. And, you know, the values start at home. So if you do your values with your kids at home, they'll be all right no matter what is out there. All right? Over and out. Thanks. I want my MTV.